Hey, what's up? It's Sergeant Dr. Fung. We're back with more of the last story. Um, if you're watching this in time, and I know there's at least one person that is, I'm watching you. I see you like my videos. You keep me going. Uh, that was weird. Um, I had school there, so I had to quit for a little while. I wasn't feeling well, and school started, and I wasn't feeling well, and Zale's just like, shut up and play the game. So I'm gonna do that. Because chances are you're watching this in the future, or at least I like to think that you are, because later on in the future is probably when stuff. Okay, but I walked in here to do some grinding because I wanted to hit level 20, and it gave me this little sticky thing. Like I'm supposed to be looking for something. And, uh... There are scratches around this cabinet. Maybe it can be moved. There's apparently something going on in this room. Oh, I can still summon though. Let's do that real quick. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not feeling good about this, but hey, you know what? Oh wow, are we just okay? No, we're, we're not harassing him as badly as I thought. <laughs> oh man. Um, what else did I want to talk about? I did want to talk about how um. I'm planning to, uh, not that this is entirely interesting, but I'm, I'm planning to, uh, maybe go back to an older LP. Um, I've, I, we're almost at episode, probably by the end of this recording session, we'll be at the, uh, 30th episode of the last story. Which is wonderful, because that means it's, like, one of my longest-running LPs, actually. Um, and I've been doing a good job being consistent with it and all that, but, um... I... I want to go back and do some... Some, uh, some... Uh, something different. Or, or, I don't know, or maybe something completely... Oh, I just broke my, my shit. Smart move, me. Um... Oh, my sound cut out there for a second. Alright, so what are, where is it going? Is that it? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. There we go. Level 20. That wasn't so bad. See, look. We learned a new skill. Run up a wall and jump down for a powerful slash. Oh, that seems cool. Except walls. I don't know. I guess it's gonna teach me... It's gotta teach me how to do it now, huh? That seems kind of cool. With even more force than Gale, huh? Oh, so you just have to run up a wall for it. That's kind of neat. I guess we'll see that in the next battle because I want to move on now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just I want to break up, break it up a little bit, mm -hmm. and and do something uh, kind of new. What's this map? Or old or something? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. The map that Zale had found showed the precise location of the Gurak's frontline military base. It's hard to believe that they managed to secretly gather so many warships this close to Lazarus Island. Over a century has passed since the Garak were banished from the Empire. It's a really large map. We humans have grown careless. It gets worse, too. For the first time, the Garak are united under a powerful king, Ganondorf. Zangarak. <laughs> He's to blame for all this. Probably the not. The repairs are almost complete. As soon as we're ready, we'll head for the Garak base. Um, I'm just now noticing that Callista and Yurik look awfully alike. You ready? Um, yeah, sure, am. why not? Four of us will infiltrate the base. Myself, Zael, Yurik, and Lisa. Marania, you stand by to take action if anything happens to us. Understood. I will pray that my assistance is not called for. Probably will be. <laughs> based, on, based on how my leadership has gotten us into and out of situations. Following the map's directions, the group set sail for the Gurak base. All of them treasured these last moments of calm in the face of the inevitable struggle to come. As the evening sun lingered upon the horizon, 
it cast a deep, fiery glow across the seas and skies ahead. Like an infant's cradle, gently rocking from side to side upon the calm ocean waves, the ship sailed smoothly onwards towards its destination. Um. Its course straight and true. Okay. That was oddly put. Our ship looks really weird. The ocean is so vast. How far does it go on? Forever. If I'd stayed in the castle, I could never have witnessed a sight like this. Don't fall. Seeing you smile like that makes me happier than anything. Re oh, oh, Zale, you're sad. You're um. Tell me, what made you decide to become a mercenary? I didn't really decide. Dagger well, kind of pulled me into it. Back when I was still a kid, just after my village had been burned down. You know. That was when I met Dagrin. Dragon. The two of us got by for a while on our own, but one day Dagrin said, "We can't go on like this forever." We have to show the world what we can do and make a proper life for ourselves. Ooh. As it turned out, though, the mercenary life wasn't much better. We have to become real knights. How, how do normal knights but become real knights? If you do become a knight, you'll be stuck inside the castle the whole time. You won't be able to see sights like this anymore. We could always start a war. Which we're kind of doing, actually. You really aren't looking forward to going back. No. But I don't want to cause any trouble for you or your friends either. I have to be strong too. I wish there was something I could do. We could kill everyone. It's all right. You've done more than enough already. Which will probably happen anyway. We'll probably end up killing the corrupt people and the Garak. And everyone. Because that's just how RPGs work. Oh, is this good graphics time? Or whatever? Oh man, that's a lot of ships. And there's a big one. The Empress. Salfang's flagship. Get a move on. We can't get caught here. <laughs> Swimming. We should have little penis rocks on our head, like in Pirates. There's Yvelt Hall. Bastards. Dive. <laughs> Dagrin used dive. Dagrin hit underwater. Oh boy. It seems like it's gonna get intense. I don't know exactly what the plan is either. Dagrin didn't really let us know yet. As I thought, there are less guards around this side. But who knows where they're hiding. Proceed with caution. Don't forget this is an enemy base. You okay, Lisa? Yes, I'm fine. This water's really warm, isn't it? Sorry, that was me. Stop. There's a guard. Zale, you're up. Where's the... Oh, there he is over there. I can see him. It's a sentry. He's an interesting looking fellow. Can I knock him into the water? That would be great. <laughs> I'd have been really pissed if this game wouldn't let me do that. Considering how much they, like, hate you being able to use ranged shots. Okay, hold on. Whoa, whoa, let's go. Right, we need to collect his item. It is a khaki bullet. Not very exciting. I don't know if I explained this before, but khaki bullets, uh, they let you turn your clothes khaki. Which might be a good color for your... <laughs> Callista and her hoe is back. Oh, I missed that. Oh, it stinks. It stinks. The hell is that smell? The... What's up with you two? Zale, Zale. is like gassy as Can't shit. Can't smell anything. It's Zale farting, that's why. Whoa. That looks... Oh. 
That looks dangerous. Hold it. Ogres. We can't take these head on. Hmm. The guard's asleep. They're really big. Don't be reckless. I don't fancy being surrounded by ogres. That's probably what's gonna happen, Dagrin. Take out that guard first. The ogres will be easier without their commander. First I'm gonna look around for shit we can use, but apparently there is none. Take out that guard first. I... Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna take out that guard, to be perfectly honest. Um, because I can't shoot him to death. I mean, whatever. And I don't have anyone with ice magic, I don't think. Um... Hold on, what kind of com what kind of arrows do I have? Burst arrow, prank banana, that'll work. I don't know. Let's try one of these. See if it'll work. Um. Oh, this thing's breath. So they're making that smell. Oh, okay, where's the where did the guard go? Is he? This is going about as well as I as as I would have expected. Um. Ow, ow. Damn it. I, like, as far as giving me options that allow me to to take things out from a distance, is this crap? like, the game doesn't give me much at all. And I don't like, I, I hate that. It at me. Oh, it stinks. You know, like other than shooting him, there's no way I could take that guy out stealthily. You know, where's uh? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm, in, I'm just in a bad situation now. And it's like, I can't get out of it. Like, I don't understand how I'm supposed to, you know. Oh, how filthy. I'm all sticky. I mean, this is this is not the way this is supposed to go. I'd imagine. I'd imagine you're actually supposed to be able to take them, take the guard out, or, or at least weaken him to the point where the ogres aren't a big deal. You know? I'm just, hmm, I'm missing something here, and it's kind of bothering me. What is this? Brave Greaves plus one. That's like stuff I might actually be able to use. Hmm. I don't know. This is just... It's one thing I'm not grasping about this game, I guess. And, and I might have to just, like, play it... You know, on my own a little bit more to, to sort of see if that's what's going on here. Oh, this looks fun. There's no one here, but don't let your guard down. This looks like their living quarters. I don't know how to put my guard up. Really? No, it doesn't. It looks like they put crates. I don't know. Their main force must be somewhere else. Which is good for us. So they use the lava in their everyday lives? Their culture might look totally different to ours, but humans and Grak once lived side by side. Things didn't stay peaceful, of course. In the end, we drove the Grak away to this dangerous place. But they made it habitable. They even found a way to harness the lava. Pretty impressive. You know, it's hard to believe our two cultures once coexisted. 
There aren't many people left these days who know about it. And I don't think that's a coincidence either. Yeah, because humans are bastards. No doubt there if humans some... hadn't been... Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Dagrin, jeez. It's fine. I can't sense any enemies. And this is when you get shot. Wow. The whole island is their base. Hmm. Thought I saw something move on the other cliff. Guess we're gonna have to seek of it. Of course. We came in from the harbor. Their headquarters must be over there. Yep. Not good. Oh, it's oh. Yvelt Hall. And it's a mini boss. Okay, it looks a little bit like less like Yvelt now, but okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, we are gonna die so hard. We are gonna die so Bruce Willis style. 